This is Alex Fiambolis with the uh, autobiographical Tales of the New World. Hear ye, hear ye. See me, fear me. I came here today for more than a one in fifty dice roll. I came to pull the sword from the stone. I came to diagram invisible signs of the unknown. I'm ready to stand and if need be fight on my own in the hidden lands never seen by Ponce de Leon. I'm the orator, original rhymes attacking tyrannical oppressive regimes. The prophet with a foot in both worlds of consciousness and sleep. Crossing the bridge to reveal the truth hiding in phantasmographical scenes of metaphorical dreams. The non ismatic symbiologist with a cure for the epidemic of ignorance that fuels the fire of American decadence. So ubiquitous is Dr. Motocrandian stench. And grown mighty powerful is the schismatic society's strength. With every shuddered breath in the sweat of the dark, I feel the chainsaw shadows clutching, screaming for my heart. I'm so thankful for Professor Gliss, the golden shoe. Together we struggle to resist, ducking Crambian's lizard grip. So I drop the dragons from my heart, the acid from my gut, and the black bile from my mind. And I break the metal manacles of Motor Crambian's men's conformed cyclones. Ism is a prison that engulfs the soul and divides humanity across the globe. I came to fight the schismatic society and regain control. I came to create a panchaic age of gold. I came for far more than a 1 in 50 dice roll. I came to pour the sword from the stone. Very, very entertaining. Yes, certainly but our I, attention. But I have no idea what the hell you just did. That's, that's, that's my only problem. You, you pointed to a golden shoe. The golden oh, shoe is Professor Glisten, the amalgamizer. The one who descends in the supreme unity of the Godhead and also a size 10 shoe. long time ago and said the transcendental clothing of the Lord is not different from the Lord himself. I thought that's a great idea. If I could have a piece of the clothing of the Lord, it's not different. You're, you're a great pontificator, but completely unclear of what the concept is. Well, the but concept is this. There's a schismatic society that's controlling the world and trying to bring about great schism, i.e. a manufactured extinction level event. And we call it global warming, we call it World War III, we call it atomic apocalypse, whatever you want. And the non asthmatic symbiologist creates invisible signs to show. You keep talking, but it doesn't no make any more sense. The more there's no talk. division between peoples, between cultures, and that it's all the same. And that's the whole point of this hero, Humaraki, is to show the underlying unity of mankind and to help bring about a harmonious age, a golden age, and try to stop. What I do is I go to sleep, and in my dreams, I have visions. And the shoe. And the shoe brings me back and allows me to walk in my visions and reveal them on the page and show them to the people who are the readers. So they can understand, you know, the depths of the soul, the darkness of the world, and so they can understand that the light shines through it all. So the golden shoe is descended and helps me conquer the dream world. The somnambulist was who I was before I found the golden shoe, the sleepwalker. Once I found the shoe, it became illumined. And be, and was, so you go from one dimension to the other? From the world of dreams to the world of reality. Right, and then I'm the orator, so I live my life to reveal to people what I've seen on the other side, you know? And is it educational? What, what is your goal? It's educational, spiritual. The goal is not ismatism, it's to show people that ism is a prison, and that, you know, Christianism, Islamism, Buddhism, Hinduism, they're all trees in the same forest, they grow from the same soil. And yeah, show people. Alex, I think it's fair to say that none of us really understand what you're saying. However, you put it out wonderfully. Well, that's the whole point: is to read through the comics and try to figure it out. It's not clear. But, but Alex, it's a myth. It's a mythological tale. When you're pitching someone, you really you can pitch them a different stories later in the future. But you really only have one shot. Once you lose the attention of those you're pitching to, honestly, in their mind, there's something somewhere else. You gotta get the pictures about. That's fine. You know, I make my pitch. I reveal my truth. And if you guys understand it, I appreciate that. If not, I just shoot. 
hey, the truth is there, you know, like Punches Pilot, if you don't see it, it's not my fault, you know? Oh, yeah. What's the message? Okay, Alex, thank you very much. Thank you.